Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at how to use decals in the universe render pipeline just like this that you can see in the game view. Currently, the universe render pipeline does not support decal projection, but I found a third party shader that helps fix this issue. It's a decal projection shader which was created by Colin Lin. It's called the universe render pipeline screen space decal shader. It has the license. Uh, the readme file and the shader itself and is compatible with the scriptable render pipeline so you can just click on the clone or download button and import the shader to your project our link is repo and youtube channel in the description we also have examples of before and after the adding the decals okay so back in unity i have this default scene that comes with the universe render pipeline and in this folder i have some decals from textures.com this logo the license readme file and the shader itself and if it looks like this all you have to do is just rename so you can press f2 to rename or that and then say dot dot shader and uh, it's going to unity is going to convert that into a shader it's going to recognize it as a shader and with that done i'm going to go back into our scene view here and uh, in the hierarchy i'm going to right click 3d object cube and i'll just drag this cube over here into our view lift it up and uh, there it is okay so i'm just going to make sure it's intersecting with the wall here because uh, that way the projection is going to be visible if you don't make it intersect the wall it won't be visible so you have to make sure it's intersecting the surface or in this case this wall and uh, in here i'm just going to right click and then say create material and i'll call this decal and i'm just going to drag this material onto our cube here so i'll just drag that there and with our material decal material selected i'm just going to change the shader to our imported shader so it's found in here here it is screen space decal at that and i'm just going to drag this into this slot here great now there's a there's a decal projecting but it's not projecting the way we want it to so i'm just going to just going to rotate this yeah, so I'm just going to rotate it. I'll just say 90 on the Y. And there is our decal. Now let's say you don't want that, this black background. You just want the decal itself to be projected. Well, if that's what you want, then in the decal, in our decal material here, uh, we have a bunch of options in here. But what we'll be looking at will just be right here this color and uh, we'll be looking at the blending and the uh, alpha remap and the rest won't be necessary because uh, the, the, the decal will work perfectly fine with just these few settings so here after changing this under blending you can see we have uh, the source blend and the distance blend and under the source blend we can see that it's saying uh, its default is source alpha so just going to go into this drop down and click on source alpha and under the distance blend its default is one minus the source alpha so we're going to look for one minus the source alpha and there we go it's uh, projecting perfectly fine very useful and uh, what I'm going to do here is this cube is just way to way too big so i'm just going to make it thinner just reduce that and uh, remember you have to make sure the cube is intersecting with the wall but you should make it as thin as possible and uh, yeah that's looking much better if you want you can even remove this box collider i don't think it will be necessary because this is a decal but there's our logo it's rendering perfectly fine it's projecting perfectly fine and with that i'm just going to duplicate this and uh, i'll drag this cube over here 
let's see that and in here I'm going to create a new material so material decal 2 and I'll drag this new material into a second cube okay and I'm going to change its shader again for universal render pipeline here we go screen space decal add that and for this one I'm just going to add this this decal in there and remember the same process we're just going to go into make sure our decal material is selected just going to make that full white and uh, under here we have the blending so remember default is source alpha so just click on that source alpha and one minus the source alpha and that's clearly projecting for us okay so now let's say you want the background of this decal to be a bit visible so that's where this uh, alpha remap comes in and uh, as it says it just gives an extra alpha control so this x uh, value controls the the alpha of the decal itself and this y value controls the background of the of the decal so let me just show you this so you can see it shows how it controls how visible the background can be so if i want it like that and uh, let's say i want to reduce the alpha of the decal itself the foreground you can see you can fade that out a bit but i'll just leave this at the default and uh, that's pretty much all that you need if you want uh, to be able to project decals and uh, now let me just make another one so I'll drag this over here and I'll just create another cube and I'll uh, say 3d object cube I'll drag this out again I'll drag this out here okay where are you there you are okay so for this one what i'm going to do is uh i'll just drag it over to this piece of wood here i'll drag it there and i i want it to project on this piece of wood so again for this i'm just going to duplicate this one this material so that's been duplicated and all that material selected i'm just going to add this uh, decal into that slot and i'm just going to drag this onto that new cube that you just created and you can see the decal wraps around uh, it wraps around the mat it wraps around a uh, piece of wood it wraps around the piece of wood and we can just adjust this a bit more to fit its view and you can actually reduce the size of this I'll just move this a bit out there and I'll rotate it a bit let's see how it looks okay so you can see you have to make sure the decal the cube is uh, intersecting with the surface in this case it's intersecting with this piece of wood and uh, yeah so let's uh, also edit the shader so you can also play with this background here you can make it a bit darker if you want and uh, you can also go through some of these other options here to find the different feel so you can see it gives different values gives different results but i'll leave it on its default so I'll just change that back to default there and that's looking pretty good okay so now I'm just going to do this uh, I'm just going to add one more decal so I'm just going to duplicate this uh, yeah I'm just going to duplicate that and uh, I'll drag this out here and I'll make sure it's intersecting with the floor Okay, and uh, for this one I'm going to create another material, so I'm going to create that material, 
create uh, just create new material now add it to our newly made cube there we go okay i'll just rotate that now you see zero and with this material selected i'll just drag the material into our newly created cube when say universe on the pipeline in space decal add that and remember it has to inter intersect with the surface that we want it to project on and for this i'm just going to add uh, i'll add this let's see how this looks okay now um let's do this let's uh try and uh, make this more visible I'm just going to let's rotate this and see what we have. Oops. Okay, there is our decal. Let's just remove this black background. So I'm just going to add that, make that full white, and same routine. 1 minus the source alpha and there we go there's our decal rendering perfectly fine and uh, you can even rotate it if you like let's just do that I'll just rotate it okay so that looks like it's part of the flow you can actually reduce the size of the cube if you want so that you save on performance just make sure it's intersecting with the, the flow and uh, yeah with that I'm just going to quickly add a few more uh, decals here to show what uh, the shader can do and yeah I'll be back Okay, so that's how you make decals in the universe render pipeline. As you can see, they're projecting perfectly fine. And I hope this will be helpful to you. And uh, yeah, you can use this in your project to make it uh, more alive, feel more alive and all that. And, uh, and with that said, thanks for watching. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing, sharing, and liking. And uh, and uh, that's all for today. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <music>